kind of terrifying. <laughs> it's Jollibee, look. Oh. Two spinners, wow. Wow, that's a lot of spinning momentum. Welcome back to the streets of Saigon. We are going to a park. Then we're gonna go to the War Remnants Museum. I don't know if you can record in the War Remnants Museum, but we're gonna go. And if we can't record, we'll tell you about it. It's our final day here. It is, and it's a hot one. The sun is really beating down today. And I really regret I didn't have my hat that I usually wear when we go outside for long periods of time, and I didn't bring it. Recap. So let's go to this park, get some lunch, and see what else other adventures we can find in old Nam. Some luncher boy? Oh! It's a nice day. The sun gets a little toasty. Yeah, it's like really. We noticed last night too. It's like a very good temperature when you're not in the sun. Like Anytime. right now. In the shade, it's very oh, nice. Oh. Oh, and then it burns. Oh. It burns everything and the heat increases tenfold. Do we need a basketball court? Wow, this place, there's, is there a guard? No, it's a restaurant, weird. Galaxy Cinema. Time to watch Avatar, take three and a half hours out of our day. Let's do it. Southeast Asian countries love to make horror movies. They do, and they're all like, uh, like sort of like demonic ones. Yeah. I don't know what's back here or if we can even get into this park, but at least we discovered this epic movie theater. Look at how epic the benches are. That is an epic bench. The tall fence. Should we try to climb it? I think so. That is kind of terrifying. Oh my gosh. It's like those animal garbages in Bangalore. Mangalore. But it has no soul. And another soulless bird garbage. What the heck is this? Why is it a movie theater like in Vietnam? Yeah, we're seeing it right now. I don't know Dang, what this back theater, area is. Movie theater is like in Vietnam. They have basketball courts. It's very epic. And this, oh my gosh, it's hot it today. Is, oh, yeah. Woo! It's like really bright too. You kind of got to squint. Yeah, it's, it's because there's no like smog to block out the sun today. It's pretty clear. Uh, Cloud-wise, too. Tall trees, I think. Those are really tall trees. Wow. Hey, the park. Wow, nice park. Look at that. It's very green. And there's a lot of trees, and they're pretty tall. That's a thick boy alert. Thick boy alert. Thick boy. Thick boy. Thick boy. Thick boy. There's a statue right there. My throat is a little messed up from last night, I think. Whenever we go to super loud areas and we have to, we have just, to talk really loud. Scream. I mean, literally, I'd, I'd yell as loud as I could and I couldn't hear myself very well. <laughs> and then the dancers are just up there like this. They just hate their lives, it seems like. <laughs> they, they would just like stare off into the distance and not make eye contact with anyone. And then the people that were selling the drinks could just latch on to people, old white men, and be like, please buy these, please! They, I need to meet my quota! They'd shove the menu in our face, but they wouldn't touch us. No. Very calm park. It's weird that you come into the parks and you don't hear the busyness of the street nearly as much. It's like the sound here dies really fast, there's which is like, odd. There's like some honking in the city, but like in comparison to like India, when we went to India, the honking just never stops in India, so it's mm -hmm. nice. Even though there's like streets over there, you can't hear it too much. Oh, we still need to try some brown marinda. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's advertised here. We have to try it. Brown marinda. Oh, very nice. Unfortunately, the fountain isn't on. We, whenever we go places, the fountains are never on. There's been countless times. Like I'd say it's an 80% chance the fountain's not on in places where there's a fountain. What's the point of having a fountain if you never turn it on? And this is the nice kind of big park in the tourist area. It's right next to the uh, palace, which is right down there. Doink. And uh, it's nice, calm. I could come here and sit on a bench and eat a picnic. It's very relaxing. You gotta sit relaxing. on a bench in the shade though. Yeah, you do. 
bench test. This is what you're here for on tri -fade, is to get the epic reviews of things no one ever reviews, like benches and water. It looks like it might be slightly low to the ground. And it's slightly low behind this um, obstacle, but... Oh, very low to the ground. Hey, but look at you have this nice footrest here. So it's more of like a chill feet up recliner. <laughs> and if you want to spread the legs out, you can go down to the lower footrest. Whoa, this is actually the best crack and bench I've ever sat in in my life. 20 out of 10. 20 out of 10. They have an epic jungle gym over there. Very large. We haven't worked out in a while. It's time, so it's time to get the epic workout. Are you ready? Let's do this. And that was the park. A nice big park. There, there wasn't that many people in it for how big it was. Yeah, it was nice, calm, relaxing. And now it's time for fracking lunch. And you're gonna be very surprised in what we're eating for lunch today. Wait for it. Keep waiting. Come on, keep waiting. Stop, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, guys, don't skip, Just ahead. Wait. It's Jollibee, look. Oh, wow, it's right look there. Look how cute he is. Let's go. Welcome to Jollibee. They have these things here. And they have some new menu items like this chicken sandwich. Fries. Pretty crunchy. Looks exactly the same. Are they? Slightly less salty, but they're all oh. the same crunchiness. Ah, Pepsi? It's kind of like Coke to me. Oh. All right, long boy chicken sandwich. We got some chicken, some ketchup or chili sauce, no, maybe some chili sauce, some like mayo or something. More. The bun is really soft. And then the chicken was very quick bite through. The chicken's very flavorful though, so. Okay, this is the popular thing here, is this like chili chicken. Everyone's getting it. So, and this place is very popping right now. It is really popping. Jollibee is famous in Vietnam? What? This smells like it might be incredibly spicy. Great. Oh my gosh, I'm a little bit afraid. Let's do it. Spicy? No. You can tell uh, he is uh, not being truthful by the way his face is recoiling. Not even spicy. It's really good, actually. It's like really good. The flavor is really nice on it. It's like a good like chili sauce taste, I guess you could say to it. it kind of looks like some of the Korean fried chicken. Yeah, it kind of has secret. a similar similar flavor to that actually. It is, it's a bit spicy. It's not like, it's not super duper duper spicy. It's just a bit spicy. Um, I don't know what this soup is. I think this is a mango. Yeah, I was about to say, it looks like a mango. So I guess let's get a mango and some of the broth. It doesn't smell sweet. Let's see. That's weird. This is kind of like a salty broth. And then there's just like mango chunks in it. Can you even taste the mango really? Not really. And then some chicken. Interesting. It's like mango chicken chunk soup. Not a ton of flavor going on in there. Uh, we are waiting still on a few things. Yeah, they have tater tots here, which is pretty interesting actually. And then I just got a peach mango pie to see if it's the same. This is going to be very hot. I'm going to wait. For a one, who like the taste of spicy things. I can't handle it. So I got something new. A tater tot. With a lot of seasoning. I hope it's spicy seasoning. I hope so too. I just want to die. 
look at that. That looks like a pretty crispy tater tot. That one's very well seasoned too. Kill me. But really pop. That's a pretty good tot. That's a pretty good tot. The seasoning is somewhat familiar. I think I've had tots with some sort of similar seasoning to that. They're really crispy on the outside, healthy on the inside. That's a good tot. Unfortunately, you only get like nine. So, they will be gone quickly. Wish me luck. I've just been burning from spice and burning from tater tots. Yeah, that's hot. It's a little more liquidy than usual. It definitely is. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. It's really liquidy. It's like a straight up mango mashing sauce in there and it burns. This has been a very painful experience. It's almost like a Sunday sauce it looks like. Yeah. I should hurt. That soup didn't hurt me though. Ah. No. Don't do it. No. Oh, back in the sunlight. I was eating out there. <laughs> it is very funny. That's it why is. we do it every single time. <laughs> I mean, we think it's like the funniest thing in the world. We uh, may be like 12 year old uh, kids, but. Hey. We're, we're, we're traveling 12 year old kids. Yeah, look at it. We're in Vietnam. <laughs> oh, Guys, I feel proud that we got to go back to the Philippines in Vietnam. As you know, every Jollibee throughout the world is actually a little Filipino embassy. And if you go into the Jollibee, you're in the Philippines. So we went back. Third time in the Philippines? We had to, uh, now that we left though, it unfortunately cancels our visa. So we're not going to be returning to the Philippines for another 10 days. Sorry. We're now going to the middle of Himalayan China. Oh, really? Yeah. Like where there's no fragging people you anywhere. You might be like, how the heck did you Americans get into Himalayan China? We have connections. We're gonna get airlifted and then we're gonna have to jump out of the plane. It's gonna be a really epic vlog, stay tuned. If you wanna see that, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Oh! We'll see you in the next one. The Jollibee in Vietnam was pretty good. The, the spicy chicken I got was really tasty. It just was spicy. And the tater tots were very delicious actually. There's a, there's a few things left that we still had to try too. Yeah, there's, there was a really good looking ice cream. It was just really hard to order in there a little bit because the menu, they like had some menu things on the uh, back screen and it was in Vietnamese yeah, and we of, can't say it. None of it was in English. So if we like tried to like read off what we want, we'd be like, Ven, Ven Mon Pi please? Uh, uh, and it was very busy in there. Viet, uh, uh, Vietnamese Jollibee is popping. Wow. And it's not like Milan Jollibee where it's only Filipinos. It was Vietnamese people. You have friends in Vietnam, Filipinos. They love Jollibee. Good job being ambassadors of fried chicken. It's tasty. Hey. Since BGC is the global city, they should have the BGC Jollibee. They should have like an event where they bring in all the international things from their menu and have it there. That would be so cool. They can make a city for it like Dubai would. They can do the GG, the JGC, Jollibee Global City. That would be sick. And they can just do a restaurant, a store from each one. And then everyone has to wear Jollibee like antennas when they're there. Whoa, this thing. Well, here it is. This should be interesting. So we don't know if the recording's gonna be a thing or not. It looks like this is a bunch of like choppers and guns and things. This should be pretty interesting. I'm kind of excited. It's very high on the li all the list. So let's see what happens. We're too nice of people, I think. We're proud owners of a new book now. Uh, somebody that was disabled in the Vietnam War, right when we walked into this place, was like, oh, do you want to buy my book? And I was like, ah. We know they're just, uh, there's a reason they're in this place in particular. Yes, it's definitely here for a reason. Not selling uh, the book in uh, the bookstore. And uh, yeah, so it's very pushy. Very, very. But also horribly disabled. Yes. So right here. like, yeah, really high up and his face. So all right, $5. I guess I didn't need $5. No, no, not as much as him probably. All right, we're selling a book for $14 <laughs> if anybody.
spinners. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of spinning momentum. Hey, it's future, uh, it's future Trifady telling you about the War of Remnants Museum. We promise this isn't filmed two months later. Yeah. <laughs> it was a cool museum. It was really interesting to see just kind of the things that they don't really tell you much about in history class, like especially like the war atrocities and how many bombs really were dropped and all of the things that happened. It definitely uh, like had an agenda, but that's also one of the things I liked about it is that it like was pushing something and like they didn't hold back with like what they showed you. Yeah. They did like show you like the like pictures and you'd be like, wow, that's crazy. Really rough pictures. We did not, I did not record them. There was especially a propaganda aspect to it where it was like, Oh, we're showing all of the war atrocities from the Americans and the Koreans and whoever else. No, North Vietnam, they didn't do anything. The message uh, I was able to take out of that is just war is bad in general. Yeah, uh, which I is took true. That, I took that section. And the... Yeah, so it was a cool museum. It really had a lot of content. We were in there for hours. Yes, and there was a lot of people in there. Very cool. Uh, there was an epic book we bought. And that was the War Remnants Museum. There was uh, a lot of info in there. A lot. We were spent a quite a while in there it was pretty cool so yeah and now we're in this circle thing and uh this is a flower in a garden very dangerous but there's no fish in the uh, water very disappointing there should be fish always there should be fish specifically a very large koi yes are we in japan or vietnam wow they're blocking the whole thing we're gonna have to jump from that side over to that side Hardcore time. and if you fail you're getting a bit wet. Wow, there are really people just walking like every way onto this thing, isn't there? Why is that? Everyone is doing important photo shoots here, so they're like, nope. It seems like, like that person's like graduated and they're like, hey, let's go do my photo shoot at this weird roundabout thing. And those people are getting like engaged and like, hey, let's get our picture at this weird roundabout thing. I'll give you 2,000 dong if you dive in there and swim to the middle and then climb up in. Okay, I don't know how much swimming I'll be able to do because I think it's about calf deep. That's why you gotta dive into it so you get the brain damage. Okay, I'm down to clown. Let's do it right now. Ooh, it's an interesting roundabout. I've never seen anything like that, that's for sure. It's a big roundabout. There's like four lanes and it's a very... The radius of the circle is very large. Wow, very epic. There's to the middle. Is it just... It's gated off? Okay, guess we're going this way. People drive too fast and they don't look at the street sometimes. Like that guy, he was looking at the roundabout and he was heading right at us. Yeah, he literally was going directly for me. It was like, kind of slow down and then he looked up and then he instantly veered. Oh, look at, they got a Singapore, Chem Kept Singapore. It's a piece of ice cream and a bread. That reminds me of uh, your hot dog bun. Yeah. <laughs> One dollar uh, street ice cream. Oh, there's a cafe. There's so many things that would be so delicious. And we're gonna go to Circle K. This one's called Chilta. Oh, look at they got a bunch of Chilta drinks. Pit stop for some milk tea or juice, whatever the heck this is. Yeah, coffee, milk tea type stuff. It's very tea-like, but the milk really smooths it out, so it's just the aftertaste of tea. Uh, tea. Well, that's quite peachy of you. I got their, like, advertised new thing, Berry Berry Christmas, and... The lighting is awful. It's like a really good smoothie. Like, really yeah. good. Look at that. Real strawberry, some cream in there. That's really good. Top quality smoother. The lighting is awful. <laughs>